I finished up uh, going through my estate sale auctions for the day to figure out what I am selling and how I'm selling it. And now I wanted to start focusing on my own things and minimalizing as much as possible, getting rid of as much as possible. I start in my bedroom area. I no longer have a bed that has been sold. So now I just need to go through all of my like little personal belongings, figure out what I'm gonna donate, what I'm gonna sell. And what I'm gonna keep. If you guys aren't aware of why I'm getting rid of everything, basically I put myself in a really bad spot with debt where I can no longer afford to pay my rent. By the end of April I need to be out of this house and in doing so I need to get rid of as many things as possible. I would like to sell as many things as possible but I, if I have to donate them like that's the way I'll go. Um, but basically I'm just trying to get down to like a very small storage unit of stuff. Now, typically I've been like a super sentimental person. I want to hold on to everything for someday. I'll use it someday, but I am in the mode right now where like it is, I need to get rid of as much as possible. And that's the attitude I have in mind. First thing I have here are a bunch of DVDs that I've gotten for Charlotte. They're all kids DVDs. These are going to be sold on Marketplace. These like fake fruit items, which if you watch my estate sale one of clearing out that, I came up with a lot of like fruity home decor, so they're just gonna be thrown in there to be sold. Christmas potpourri, which I'm not even sure why this is in this room. It should be in my Christmas decor, but either way, it's either gonna be thrown away or thrown into a lot of Christmas decor that I can sell. So this is a tough one because I've held on to this for a long time. I'm not gonna lift up the whole thing, but it's a PlayStation 2. It's in really good condition. It works really well, and I have two like children's PlayStation 2 games. I've had this since I was like, 12 years old and my brother was nine like we're super like there's a lot of memories attached to it but honestly it's not really something I use at all anymore and I think it's gonna go a bunch of candles usually I love burning candles but I don't even know where I'm gonna live next month and I'm probably not gonna be burning candles there so these are gonna be thrown in with a lot of other candles that I'm selling of like baby washcloths from Charlotte one of the things that for some reason I held on to and I have a ton of them. They're all either going to be donated or thrown into a lot of baby things that I send to a friend who has a baby. Storage tote. I have a ton of storage totes. I think I'm gonna keep them for now because I can kind of fold them up and they'll all just go into one box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because I do like them. They help with organization. So that's one of the things I'm keeping. This Samsonite bag I got from dumpster diving if you watch my dumpster diving video it's worth like a hundred dollars it's pretty much brand new but it's probably going to get sold on marketplace for like five dollars because I have really no use for a suitcase like this now I have a collection of bags and backpacks I have this leather bag which my ex-husband's mom gave me she was super attached to it it has like a receipt in it <laughs> But honestly, like I have never really used this bag. There's sunglasses in here that I don't remember having, like receipts. Oh my goodness, maybe I should go through and make sure there's not like something of value in here. There isn't. Uh, so this is probably gonna be donated. I got this bag as a gift from my ex's mom again, and I actually really loved this, but the handle is broken, and honestly, I'm never gonna sew it back on. I hate to throw it away, but it's gonna be thrown away. And then I have these two backpacks, which I love. These two I'll be keeping because I do use backpacks a lot instead of diaper bags. They wear out eventually, so I will keep these. They will be used. I have a box here of like miscellaneous stuff. It's a storage tote. I don't even know what's in it, so we're just gonna go through it. Some fabric netting that I always kept because I love hermit crabs and I was like, oh, this would make amazing netting in a hermit crab habitat. Do I want to keep it in my mind? Yes, because I think that I have a use for it. Do I need to keep it? No, it should probably just go. And this is one of the things I hate to do, but it's like, I got to limit stuff down. So it's going to be donated. All of these chalkboard little stickers. Again, these are one of the things that I love. Ugh, they're not gonna take up that much space, so I think I'm gonna keep them. It's like my own personal episode of Hoarders. These are sticker books of stickers that like, they're so cute. I mean, the sticker books are almost completely used. <laughs> I should really, really get rid of them. 
but I don't want to. This is stupid because I don't even like have a use for these. I can't even think of something that I would use them with yet I don't want to get rid of them. I think I'm going to keep them for now but put them in like a pile of think about and make sure you actually want to keep these type things. A bunch of paint brushes which I have uses for in my head but paint brushes are like a dollar. I can go to Dollar Tree and get paint brushes. So these are going to be donated. I have two really nice travel pillows. I've never used a travel pillow in my life. I always have them in my car. No one uses these. These are going to be donated. I have a bunch of stamps. I used to be really into like ink art, I guess. Uh, I haven't done it since Charlotte was born. That was two years ago. So I think I'm probably not going to do it anytime soon. These are either going to be sold on eBay or put in a donation lot. Tarot cards, I will keep. I do use these. Just like a little lot of USB connectors and things that I don't even know what they go to. I probably kept them thinking they're important, but they're going to be thrown. And then I have this like converter to where you can convert your outlet and it has three different ones on it. I think it's like for the UK, Europe, Australia. Okay, yeah. Australia and China, USA and UK. So um, this I'll probably keep because I want to travel in the future. It's one of those things that I don't have an immediate use for, but do I really want to go out and buy another one? Oh, there's Europe on here too. See, like this is a dumb little thing. I will not use this in the near future. I have no money to travel but yet I want to keep it. We'll put it in the think lot. Another storage tote, fold it up, be kept. Okay, so now this is a hard one for me because this is something that my dad got for me when he was traveling in the military. I think it's from India uh, that he brought back for me when I was younger. It's a bag I'll never use, but it has a lot of sentimental value and I don't know. It's so hard. Maybe Charlotte would use it. It's going to be put in the think lot. Here's another like little coin bag that I think is super cute and I would love to keep it, but I don't know if I have a use for it. We'll see. It's going to be in the think lot. This is a hard one because I never wear this. <laughs> it's a hat from my grandmother who passed away and it's one of the few things that I have from her. I've held on to it. It's been across the world with me and yet I've never used it but it's like one of those things that you're like how can I donate this it's one of the few things I have from someone who passed away so this is really hard I don't know it's gonna go in the think lot this little tiny dandelion vase that was handmade for me by a military friend um, when Charlotte was born I was completely alone. I gave birth alone. Like there's a huge story behind this and it's like something that, mm, it's one of those little knickknack things. Like, do I need this? It's gonna go in the think lot. This big metal organizing thing that I like just bought not that long ago for $24 from Hobby Lobby. It's gonna be sold. This old camera that I'm like absolutely in love with and I've kept for a long time um it's gonna be sold this treasure chest is gonna be kept it has a bunch of little knickknacks in it that i think i'm gonna keep as well just little things i've collected from my childhood coins from around the world mammoth ivory from being in alaska letters from my foster kiddos so those are gonna be kept okay now i have a bunch of parents magazines which I would love to keep but I think they're just gonna have to be thrown away. I have a binder from my real estate course which I didn't get my real estate license. I passed the test and everything but I ended up not signing on with an agency, which you need to do to activate your license, and that is because it costs um, a lot of money. You actually need like insurance and things to be a real estate agent. Uh, but I learned a lot in the course, so it's definitely worth taking the course. I'm getting sidetracked, but I'm not going to be using this. Here's another one. 
Maybe I'll put them up on Marketplace if someone wants them for free because they're taking the course. I have all of these Food Network magazines, which I've kept for the recipes. And these are going to be put in my think about pile because I love cooking, but it is like just a stack of magazines. Do I really need to keep them? Ugh. Okay, and now I have a bunch of doilies and like handmade. This is a huge handmade tablecloth. This is from Charlotte's great grandmother on her paternal side. She made all of these. I'm going to keep some. I'm going to keep this tablecloth. Um, uh, that'll be donated. That's a large one I'll keep. Um, trying to like see what these are. That'll be donated. I hate doing this, but it's like donated, donated. Think about, think about, donated. Think about this one, donate, 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 maybe I can sell them. Maybe I'll list them on eBay before I donate them. This I'm going to keep. I think it says golden. Let me see. Yeah, it says golden. I'll keep this one. No one's gonna want that one. Um, donate. So many. Donate. Keep. Keep. Donate. Keep. Keep. Donate. And I think I'll keep the ones that I kept. But to think about this little tiny one, I'll keep make a snowflake ornament out of. Okay, now I just have like a bunch of fabric things to go through. King size pillowcases. Donate. This green string. Like this is the stupid crap that I feel like I should keep. I have anxiety at the idea of getting rid of this because I can use it for something. Um it's stupidly gonna be put in the think about pile. Bunch of curtains, which I'm gonna donate. More curtains, which I really like these ones. Think about lace curtains. I'm definitely keeping because I love these. And I use them, usually. This green balance I really, really like. But I'm like keeping a lot of curtains. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it. This brown fabric shower curtain. I can get another brown shower curtain if I need to, so I'll get rid of it. This picture frame. I'm going to put one of Charlotte's pictures in and send it to her dad for his birthday. Okay, now I have a bunch of bedding stuff. Um, I think I'll keep uh, that pillow, more king size pillowcases that'll be donated. A pillowcase that matches the bedding I have, so I'll keep that. And this king size pillowcases that'll go. These brown pillows I won't use so this will be donated that's a bed pillow so i'll keep that um these gigantic pillowcases i don't know i really want to keep them for now so i match my bedding this pillowcase i'll keep these pillowcases I'll donate but I'm gonna keep the pillows that are in them because they're like almost new so we'll keep the pillows donate the pillowcases okay so now I've taken down all the fabric in the back of the room and I have everything that's left um, I do want to keep the two pieces of fabric I had hanging up 
Not that I wouldn't be able to find these things and buy them again, but I'm going to keep them. This I just got from the Dollar Tree. It can be donated. Queen size, king size sheets are going to be donated. This is a quilt from Charlotte's grandmother. I think I'll keep this one, but this one is going to be sent to her dad because it was his as a kid and it holds no value to me, but it might to him. So we'll mail it to him. And this red fabric I'm going to keep. The only other thing I have left is the table that this is sitting on. It's a little black table. That's going to go. And my suitcases. Suitcase set I am going to keep because I will use those. So the bedroom is done. Here is everything that I am getting rid of and everything that I'm keeping, which is mostly just like pillows and bedding.